Hey everybody, welcome back. Marcus Graves back again with another reaction to Band of Brothers, this time to episode 5, Crossroads. Let's get on into it. Wait, he was a real soldier. He, Winters? Oh, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay. God damn it. Oh, that's my own piss for Christ's sake. <laughs> there goes that what that was. <laughs> Those are mental headquarters. But that's three miles away. Why are they giving away their position? Hmm. Well, get... Okay, I was about to say, what? Well, I get the feeling that this is going to get messed up, but. Damn. Oh shit. <laughs> it's a whole other job running. Oh shit. Mm. <laughs> you missed the gun there for a second. I wonder if that was a mistake or not, but it works in this context of the scene. When he was trying to pick it up, he missed. <laughs> he missed it. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Polly Horton was killed. Major Horton's dead. I'm trying to remember Horton's face. That's one thing is sometimes names are elusive in this show. I got Winter, Nix, Lipton, Guy Near, Randleman, Sobel. Some of the others are a bit elusive, however. Trust your non -com. Help! It's me! Hold your fire! My God. Central Lieutenant Wells. Go! Here, look at my... Central Lieutenant Wells, now! Hmm. Got a letter for you here from Moose. Lieutenant Heiliger, sir. He's recovering, but it's going to be a long haul. Thanks, bro. Mm. Well, I guess now is as good as time. What? What's that, a piece of paper? I don't want to see another piece of paper. <laughs> General Taylor is fine. City of Light. That's a 48-hour pass. It's been decided that you need a little dose of civilization. Bon voyage. Hmm. That's never been him. He always usually forewent his weekends. I mean, it's the same thing with the paperwork, which of course was well, like, I don't want to see more, one more piece of paperwork. It's just, this is not him. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, I don't know necessarily want to call it PTSD. But I suppose, yes, this is exactly it, or it's just... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Because, of course, we knew he's itching to get back into the field. So that's what I was thinking at first, which is why I didn't want to say outright PTSD, but this... The costume department set me up with these great oh, navy up, whites. Goodness. What do you think? I'm trying to watch. Right. <laughs> I've seen this movie 13 times, okay? Well, I haven't, so shut exactly. up. Exactly. People in the theater, seriously. <laughs> 3,600 left. Uh, what are you going to do with all that dough? What are you going to do with all that dough? How about get the fuck out of here, okay? Miss. <laughs> He wasn't watching the movie, was he? It's a real court cut. Hmm. Yeah, his body language. This is not, yeah, it's not relaxed. It's, it's anxious. How about a hat? You got a hat? Hey, you got extra ammo? What about a coat? Got a coat? <laughs> yeah, I got some smokes. Oh, now oh, you're talking. Hey, 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 the 
the young buck with the vets. Where the hell are we? Sure we ain't in hell. It's too damn cold. <laughs> nice transition. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. Looks like you guys are gonna be surrounded. We're paratroopers, Lieutenant. We're supposed to be surrounded. I like that. We're paratroopers. We're supposed to be surrounded. Also speaks to their preparativeness. Their comfortability in war and combat. No rest. Keep marching. Mm. Dig your hole carefully and deep and wait. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content, please head on over to my Patreon page and become a patron. Not only will you be helping to support me and the channel, you'll also be gaining access to exclusive content and benefits such as early access to my videos, full reactions, and my Patreon Discord chat. So, if you are so inclined, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is down below this video in the pinned comment and become a patron. Last episode was about replacements, about the new guys, the new recruits, but also suffering defeat, having to retreat. This episode takes that, skipping skipping a couple months and then skipping another couple months and exploring the element of a heavy casualty war, a heavy casualty experience, a heavy casualty uh, skirmish that now you have these vets who are in here and, they, and, and they've been from the very beginning have been on this and now you have the new kids, the young bucks coming in. But with that, and you, you kind of have a contrast here in this episode, two things. They, they started out talking about leadership, uh, what it takes to lead, what is leading, who they would follow into battle, into war. And uh, through this episode, you have, have the field versus paperwork. You have combat versus administration. Uh, Winter's having to go from uh, leading Easy Company to signing paperwork and having more paperwork than he can handle. Not only more paperwork than he can handle, more paperwork than he wants to handle. So you have combat versus administrative duties, but you also have civilian life versus war life. And the episode further expounds upon that. Not just combat versus administrative duties, uh, but it compounds on that uh, by by uh, bringing uh, administrative duties into also civilian life, not to make them similar, but to, but 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 equally contrasting them against combat and against war. One is what seems to be. I don't know if I necessarily want to call it the deterioration of Easy Company or the deterioration of. Uh, of personnel, of military personnel. I don't, I don't necessarily want to call it that. Um, but with the new recruits coming in, they even mentioned it earlier. So you, you got, you got the new cats, uh, training the new cats, <laughs> you know, it's like, what, how does, how does that work? But then you also contrast the veterans with, you have people like, uh, what's his name? Strayer. I believe it was Strayer who was at a wedding. They're about to they're about to roll out. Uh, Autobots roll out. No, uh, they're about to uh, they're about to roll out. And you have Strayer who's at a wedding. It's like, it, well, is that wrong for him to be at a wedding? I'm not calling out the fact that he was at a wedding. I'm, call, uh, I'm, I'm I'm. It seems that the episode is bringing. It seems like the story is bringing attention to the fact that the difference between civvy minded war-minded, civvy-minded, military-minded, that you have this, uh, you have this, uh, conflict when you have Winters and, and Buck and all these guys who, uh, uh, Garnier, uh, Nix, who, all of them who, who are, who are vets, they know what's going on, they know what to do, but particularly Winters, who, as I mentioned during the reaction, he would forego his weekends and he would say he's he's been about this life but that is in contrast to now you have instead of 
focusing on, hey, do these people have clothes? Hey, what about their ammunition? Hey, what, what's our position? What's our strategy going? They're like, oh, no, we're, we're, we were caught up with a wedding. Or we just weren't thinking about it. So I don't want to say deterioration, but certainly uh, the increasing unpreparedness with new heads, new CEOs um, that are all coming in and don't have the same. And you know what? And I mentioned this back a few episodes ago that Sobel, for all of his faults and for, um, you know, question his strict, regimented, unforgiving methods, it bred soldiers. And once again, for all his faults, even not even, be, even not being adaptive and 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 struggling in uh, true combat situations, well, not even true because it was those were uh, <laughs> those were uh, uh, exercises that they were going through. Uh, even for all those faults, it bred soldiers. And now it's almost like you can see the effect of maybe not having enough Sobels. More to the point, not having enough people like Winters or Nix. But other than the increasing unpreparedness, you also see uh, civilian life versus war life and their PTSD that they're experiencing, that Winters is experiencing, that uh, Buck was experiencing in the theater, that uh, they are now you know, they are now scarred. This is where they are. And it's almost a bittersweet um, sentiment at the end. We're paratroopers. We're supposed to be surrounded. You know, the, comf the comfortability in combat situations, the comfortability in war situations to the extent that you can't go home and just live anymore. You had Winters who was stoic and um unsmiling on the uh on the transport you know seeing all these people and having flashbacks to the war but then as they're shipping out and going to uh, uh bastone there is a uh if not a smile certainly an ease on his face you know uh, an, an an ease about him an ease going into the war going back into the war. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're so inclined. Check out my channel for all my other content that I have on there, my short films, Assassin of the Flame and Yin and Yang, reactions, breakdowns, all that good stuff that's on there. Much, much more to come. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.